describing something of little importance or trivial. We are looking at how to pronounce petty. Watch me take off with this pettiness, yeah. Make a post, watch it take off like a rocket ship. Hey, check my comments, all of these people they savages, yeah. Don't come in here talking big if you can't handle it, nah. I'm on a mission, they in they feeling, they only hear shots ringing out. Taking their personal lead, that's what I'm talking about, petty. What's up, what's up, what's up, petty world? It's your boy KD Dollar. Yo, it's your boy Petty Kane. And it's your girl Queen Petty Blunt. And we'd like to welcome you back to Petty, Petty. <laughs> Podcast Shizzo. Shizzo. Welcome Shizzo. back, everybody. How y'all doing out there, Petty World? How y'all doing, man? We good, man. I'm good. I'm you definitely good? great. I'm you definitely great. I'm living my life like it's golden. Living this life like it's golden. Living it like it's golden. Well, let me find it then. Petty. <laughs> I need some of that gold. I need a couple of hours. You would be the one. <laughs> hey, y'all, like every show, man, we want to encourage y'all to like, subscribe, and share. We can't do this without you guys, man. We don't live unless y'all help us breathe some air into our, our existence. No Share the petty. No Share the petty, man. Share the petty. Like and subscribe, man. Follow us on all Instagram. Um, all YouTube, all Facebook, all social media, you can find Petty Pod. Hashtag Petty, Petty Podcast Show. Period. That's what we us. got going on, Petty Family? Man, this is all kind of petty stuff going on right about now. First of all, what? First it was, of all, it was what? just cold and then it got warm. So yesterday, I went to the kitchen and it was cold. And then when I left, it was warm. Mm. <laughs> and that's mm. probably why we got all this fog. Yeah, yeah. That Mad fog in the city right now because of the mixture of weather and all that. Most definitely, <clears throat> man. It's crazy. It looks like a scary movie outside right now. All <laughs> over day in Ohio. Like, right? Yeah. So why are we out? Us as black people should not be out doing a scary movie. I ain't Cause, scared, Because we got headlights. Oh, okay. And I don't <laughs> run it far. If I'm right. running, I'm running. Right. <laughs> let them uh, let somebody be behind me in the uh, car. I'm running, y'all. So I'll take the scary movie in our I room. ain't running. We just gonna have to fight. <laughs> and Petty. Hey, we just gonna have to fight. <laughs> Yo, but regardless, man, love the city, man. It's mad cold. The weather is changing. It's not like how it used to be in Dayton, Ohio. I remember at some point it was winter in December. It was winter in January, and it was winter in February. Now it's just winter in April. Right. Dang. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we going to go ahead and transition just like this weather into our hashtag petty videos and Petty pictures. I love our petty videos and petty pictures. Hey man, hey we, hey we I always, love, hey we it's always petty. something funny in the group. And let's 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 talk about this sixteen year old teacher. Sixteen year old teacher. She's a sixteen year old teacher. Sixteen. So wow. my thought process is. Do you get lunch tickets just like the other kids do? Uh, like even uh, even though you a teacher, do they are do you get free lunch too? Petty. First of all, she's sixteen. Yeah, no extra milk. She's still a minor. <laughs> Forget all that. Do First they of do all, they make her eat in the lunchroom with the other kids? What we're not gonna do is skip over that. This is a black young sixteen year old lady here. Black. Okay. okay. She can still eat lunch in the But I'm just saying, let's kids. not skip over our queen. Okay. Period. Point blank. You doing her like she's too What is she? Some Doogie Howard? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? What is she, man? Uh, she's smart. Is she? Oh, that's what she clearly. is. She's a 16 year old teacher. A 16 year old, year old teacher. She and went, she about to go and get her master's. And she went viral on TikTok for being a 16 year old teacher. So my other question is, is can she still get detention too if she get to talking too much <laughs> in school? And then how do the parents talk to her? Like, do they be like, respect your elders? Like, right, but I'm the like, teacher. Petty. 
I mean, it's just so many things that you got to think about with her being a 16 year old teacher. She's still catching the bus home. No, she, she drafts. She rides with the drafts. kids so she can help them with their homework. So she on, on the, the bus because she, she on the bus. Be. Why, why not? <laughs> she does teacher. drive because they asked her. They said, "Do you get dropped off or do you drive?" And she said, "I drive." Really? Yeah. Really? Don't try to play Shania. Ain't but that's her name. The, don't you got to be eighteen and get your license? Man, now? I don't no. Know. I thought no they teacher. changed it. No, it's sixteen if you got that driving class. So she's know. in driving class after school. So she went to. She can't class help with homework. She got. She got to go to D and D. Well, she already went because she got her license. But she still. I mean, you know, ain't no telling. She has a classroom full of baby dolls. Patty. You know what? Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just serious. That's her. That's her concept to me. And like she got a classroom full of baby dolls that she used to line up when she was. 14. And that's only two years ago. <laughs> Bro. You know what I'm saying? She and had all her Barbies and lined up in a classroom, and now she got actual kids. Your kids. Lined up in a classroom. I and she's probably still having, her more. She's probably having show and tell twice a week because she's bringing her toys, too. Patty. Y'all ignorant. Yo, let me have a 16-year-old <laughs> teacher. <laughs> uh, for real. Like, what toys do you got at 16? <laughs> she still got toys. She still hey, got toys. She, she got, better not. My daughter 15. She ain't got no toys. Man, that's your she daughter. She not. But we got mad cheering out here. Cheering. Cheering. Teaching cheering. cheering. Teaching cheering who still got baby dolls. You understand? 16, yo. 16. But she making that money, though. She making yeah, that she money. making that money. And she going to get her master's. Just got your pubes. Patty. You know what? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't with you know, the people. Some women have late. That periods. might have been her in the picture we talked about last week. That's why it wasn't illegal. Some women have late periods, so she might have oh, got a period. Oh, bro, but for why? Speaking of her making that money, let's transition a little bit into some teachers in North Carolina were accidentally given a oh. $1,250 bonus. And now the school district won't pay money back. Patty. That's petty. Y'all need to let them teachers keep petty. that money, man. Big facts. Because if it was me, oh, I'm going to keep it. You're going to keep it and get I'm fired. Go- I, I don't care. What about the, la- what about the later money that's going to come? You're going to keep that little money and miss out on your big money that comes later? What big the money? They because that, that school money. ain't doing nothing. Evidently, they are not paying them. That's why these teachers got excited about the little bit of money that they got and said, oh, I'm man. not paying you nothing right. back. That's just like right. with the Social Security stuff. Why? Oh, it's y'all fault. Why we got to pay y'all back? That's just like the people with the PPP loans. <laughs> y'all got the PPP loan. Y'all got that big ass money. Y'all get to spend it and then forgot that you had to have a job anyway. <laughs> you dig what? what I'm saying? That's what the teachers. They gonna get that little money and be like, yeah, I'm keeping this and get fired. And then miss out on all their bills they ain't gonna, a year no, later. They're not gonna, gonna get fire them. Job. They ain't gonna fire them. No, they them. want them people to pay that money back in increments but let's say you don't pay it back you gonna get fired that's theft that's your fault no it ain't no theft y'all gave that to me right yeah they Period. did on accident they owe them teachers that money let them teachers keep that money as much as teachers have to deal with with these kids Bruh. with y'all's kids out here Fact. they deserve it they deserve true that enough. money. The so only true. thing, the only problem that I see is that they only gave it to the English teachers. So now the math teachers are probably going to be mad. <laughs> no, yeah. The science teachers are yeah. going to be mad. The the uh, the 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 art teachers are going to be mad. They don't deserve that. The art teachers don't. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't break all day. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Forget them. Forget the art teacher and the PE teacher. It's all about the other ones. Pay. I'm going to tell you like this. If y'all accidentally gave me some money, it's going to get spent. Me being who I am, I'm going to keep that, bro. Hey, you should. And then I'm going to argue gonna about giving it. it back. Like, y'all should have made the mistake. Human error caused me to get that bread. And I'm keeping it. I'm and you should. Keep it. Let the bank put some money in my account. Please. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Yo, I went to the ATM, right? And I asked for $200. And I got $400 one time. What do you think I did? Kept it. You spent thank it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I kept it. God, Bless I thank you for Lord that blessing. Lord, you came through. <laughs> you know what I want. Pay. <laughs> and, and, 
And, and guess what? You didn't get fired either, did no. you? No. You didn't get fired. No. So, man, let them teachers keep that money. Let them keep Y'all it. leave them teachers alone and, and let them keep that 1250 and give all the rest of them 1252. Well, Let me ask y'all this right quick, though. Let's say y'all found a wallet full of money. I'm keeping it. Petty. Would y'all consider it the workings of God? Or would y'all say it's just something else? Would y'all keep it or turn it in? Real quick. Y'all criminals. No, real quick. That just that really just happened to me not too long ago. I Tell got, me what happened. I was bro. at Speedway. Yeah. I walked out you the store and there was the a wallet station. right there on the ground. <laughs> no, station. I'm Speedway, right? Hey, hey. But it was a wallet right there on the ground, man. I picked it up and took it back in the store and gave it to the, the cashier and said, "Hey, man, because I don't said. want the, I, 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 I want my own. I don't want somebody else's. Like I, want I, I don't, I don't, I ain't else's. going through your wallet. I ain't going through your purse. If it ain't man's, I don't want it. Period. Terrible. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't do that either. I mean, I would definitely give it back. But as me being petty, I'm going to keep it. But honestly, I would give it back. Anything I'm, that's given to me that can I can't. help me. It's a blessing from God. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get an even bigger blessing by returning it. Okay. Mm. What, <laughs> mm, what yeah. whatever. Hey, we let's let's I'm just let's saying. move on and we transitioning it into <laughs> petty <laughs> headline news. <laughs> petty headline news and, and, and petty headline news. 115 bodies buried in unmarked graves behind a jail outside of Jackson, Mississippi, has left a community in disbelief. The families are angry their loved ones were buried in so-called paupers' graves, marked by just a metal rod and a number, and families were never notified of their deaths. The startling revelation came months after the mother of 37-year-old Dexter Wade filed a missing persons report last March. It wasn't until August when Betterson Wade learned her son had been hit by a police car and killed, then buried in that same cemetery. Mm, mm, mm. That's very tragic, man. And this is not a joking topic. For this not to make national news bothers me. Why isn't this on CNN? Why, ain't, why isn't this, every time I turn on the TV, why isn't this showing, right? That's a lot of deaths, man. Like, because, what's going on here, man? Mm, because, we need answers, yo. Because it's a prison system that has... No telling how those people died. They could have probably contributed into killing those people or not giving them the proper care and they passing away. And then it's about money. You got all these people who died that the state probably gave this prison money to bury these people and they probably kept the money and just told Tyrone to go in the backyard and bury him. Dang. Prison Tyrone? is about rehabilitation. Prison is about correcting the wrong you did. Not going in there having a death sentence if you was not supposed to have a death sentence. That's mm. a lot of murders, man. What's going on in Mississippi? You know what's going well, on in Mississippi. It's Mississippi. Who says that it was it's murders, It's Jackson, though. Mississippi. How, they could have probably just died from natural causes. You would say something like that. I would. I look at things all different sides, all different ways. Y'all just look at it one way. Tell us your way of thinking how all these brothers got murdered. And buried <laughs> without their family even knowing. Well, yeah, now that's just jacked up. They definitely should have told a parent or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's family. But I'm just saying they somebody could have died a natural death. Everybody ain't had to be murdered. What's your opinion? Because I got an opinion on it. I mean, you get mad at my opinion, though, bro? I mean, who who's more petty? Is it? Uh, is it, is it opinion? <laughs> who, I'm, let's, let's really look at this, though. Who's more petty? The prison for not telling they people that they died? Or they people for not knowing that they died? Because obviously... Somebody's not communicating with their people. Well, the lady there was trying to find her son. They kept playing her. Like, we don't know where your son at. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, and they probably did the same thing with these other people. We don't know where your people at. Okay, so let, they hold, 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 the hold that thought. Let's, let's see what his mama had to say. Contacted the Jackson Police Department after reporting that your son was missing several times, even after he had been buried without your knowledge. Give us a sense of what they told you over those many months and what those months were like for you, not knowing where your son was. Well, it was devastating to me because um, I didn't know where he were. And then I was calling them. They didn't have no information to let me know uh, have they you know, found any information, all the, you know, details that I gave them for leads, you know, they never came back to me to say 
well, you know, that led that lead, led it to something that we can work with. And I just couldn't believe that he had disappeared off the face of earth. Her testimony spearheaded this investigation. So if she did not look into this, then we will still be looking at mad murders <laughs> happening under this facility. Yeah. Continuous murders. There is no excuse for this, yo. If you went to prison, you expect to be rehabilitated, taken care of, You even though it's a prison and things happen in prison, man. You get all type of stuff that happens to you in prison. But for you to be six feet under with just a number, no name, above your grave, this is crazy and unacceptable. Crazy. It kind of remind me of when uh, they found all those cremated bodies at the McLean funeral home, 56 of them. Nobody claimed them or whatever. It was a whole lot of them back there, and they didn't say nothing. And and I think it's just, uh, uh, to be honest, I think it's just a money thing. I think it's people are getting paid for funerals and deaths, and they're not spending that money on the burials on, and, on, and, hold, the, and the boxes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got to disagree with you. I think it's deeper than that. You think it's deeper than that? Heck yeah. What Why think, is it so many bodies being buried at this prison? Why are these people being killed? What is the reason for them not living anymore? Well, we don't know what they did, Katie. We don't know if they disrespected a guard or... See, we don't even know if they were murdered, though. Like, he keeps saying they were murdered. Like, we don't... <laughs> we don't know if they were murdered, bro. Like, okay, so, so tell that to the, to the mother. We can t okay. Well, her story is different. Like hers can say maybe he was murdered, okay, but it's, okay. it's two hundred and fifteen or sixteen exactly. bodies, and that opened up the floodgate. Yeah, but you that understand? don't mean everybody it was did. murdered. Some people could have just died of natural causes in jail, okay. and nobody told that. And people if they still. did, why didn't if 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 I died of natural causes in jail, right? Why didn't you alert my family and be like, oh, he died of a heart attack, or he died of cancer, or he died of this, or he died of that? Why not alert the family of that? I don't know. I mean, Why keep it a secret? See, when you keep it a secret, that makes it murder. Suspicious. To me. Period. Murder. What criminal organization is behind these murders? The prison. <laughs> the government. The, the warden. Petty. We have questions. We're going to find out, and we're going to tell you. <laughs> like, this is ultimate petty right here. It ultimate is. Ultimate petty, and it, it doesn't make is. sense. We have learned through the years of uh, many prison camps that have been organized in the states and outside the states where they have made several coffins, like disposable coffins. And you got to really look into this information right here because if you're not looking, then it's invisible to you. But once something breaks like this, that mother was very concerned about her child. And because of her concern, the floodgates are open. We need answers. Speaking of mothers, we're going to transition into the petty story of the week. So now we got, we have millennials complaining about Gen Xers not wanting to watch their kids. Really? Yeah, we do. Let's, let's take a look to me how millennials you know when it's time for them to live their life you know if they want to go out for a weekend hey mama can you you know um can you watch my baby for me a lot of y'all in the gen x generation you won't even look out for them and the sad part to me gen x would be like oh I, I, you know i'll got time for all of that i didn't raise y'all i didn't raise y'all i want to live well, first of all, yeah. let, let, let me start this off. First of all, yeah. <clears throat> first of all, she said, watch the kids for a weekend, not not a night, a whole weekend. So millennials feel like they need to go out for the whole weekend. They need to just be gone the whole weekend and they mama or they daddy need to watch their kids for the whole weekend. They could be out of town. What about they went on the trip? They need a weekend. For you to think that your grandparents is supposed to watch your kids? No, your parents. Not 
Huh? No, she thinking she's saying grandparents, right? Yeah, the well, kids' like grandparents. Her, yeah, the kids' grandparents, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. For you to think that the grandparents is supposed to watch the kids, it's such small minded and weak. It's 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 incredible, yo. Like and lazy to me. Yeah, I mean, and entitled to me. Mm. That is entitled because my my, God. my mom watched my kids when she wanted them. So when Back she called then. and said. Hey, bring them over. I, I watch them. I took them. But when I wanted to go do some or hang out or, or 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 you know what I'm saying, take take the kids, mom, and we wanted to go do some. I had to hit my pockets. I had to call one of my little cousins to come watch the kids. Oh, that's sad. You know what I'm saying? No, it ain't. That's that's just what being a, a an adult and a parent is about. Like I never expected or. You know what I'm saying? I never felt entitled that somebody was supposed to watch my kids. I, when I wanted to go do something, I paid a babysitter to come watch my kids. Okay, so it's wrong for somebody to be like, can you watch my kids for the weekend so no, I can go out of town? No, not at all. No, not at all. But this is just one entitled, s- selfish, immature young lady that was on the screen. And that's all it is. It's just one. But you'd be surprised how many females think like that because they thinking it's tradition. You got to break tradition. You got to pass it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, how we grew up, grandmas did watch the kids. Facts. But nowadays, grandmas is 35 and they still twerking in a club. <laughs> Patty. You're having kids younger these days. Yeah. Big facts. You understand? And grandma, she got the, she 50, 55, 60. And she got the gray, but she got the gray with the look. She banging. Um. Grandma got the BBL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> grandma banging out here. Grandma is still going to the club. Grandma is not the same grandma. Hey. Nah, grandmas ain't grandma I see a couple grandmas. <laughs> grandmas ain't grandma I see I'm a couple 40. grandmas. I'm like, grandma, I'll give you that. Grandma, I'm 40 grandma, and got four watch grandkids, that. and I would watch them. But they live in Columbus, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm a grandfather. And I love all four of my grandbabies. And, and I'm, I'm, a I'm a grandfather too. Like, th- and I'm not saying like, this is all I'm saying. I wouldn't, I don't mind or wouldn't mind watching my grandkids, but it is not my responsibility not, no, no, to no. watch my grandkids. No, not at all. But it's you a, it's a big difference. Job. It's you a big difference job. from me wanting to watch them and it's just being my sole responsibility to where every weekend I know I can't do nothing because my daughter is going to drop her grand, her, her kids off on me. Yeah. That's something that's not going to happen. So here's the thing, ladies, you cannot be mad at anybody that don't want to watch your kids. Man, How about you go bad. somewhere where you can take your kids? There's places like you can go to the boom. What is the boom? The farm? boom shop. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I said the boom <laughs> farms. You tell you take them to go get a little drinky hey, drink. Hey, hey, hey. Put them kids to sleep. <laughs> Patty. Take them to the booze farm. <laughs> to the booze hey. farm factory and see how that get made. <laughs> Granny. You can take them anywhere. You got C-75, Chuck E. Cheese. Do something Bottom with line. your kids. Go somewhere that's kid-friendly so then you don't have to worry about somebody watching your kids. And then when your kids get older, like 14, 15, able to stay at home by themselves, then you go out and live your life like it's golden. 14, 15, and then leaving kids at home at 8 and 9. Yeah, that's sad because it wouldn't be me. Yo. Big mamas is not big mama in anymore. Not at all. <laughs> they don't got the meat under there. They ain't cooking. They don't got the, the big pans. You know the pan. It's different now. Big mamas is microwaving food. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Big mama is ordering food off of Uber Eats. <laughs> it's a whole different thing right now, man. Big you fact. cannot expect your grandparents to do what the great grandparents did to us back in the day. It is a different thing now. Different. Hey, we we was like raised by my grandmother, so like, me too, me if too. we got dropped off, we got dropped off. And never picked up again. And never picked up again, <laughs> for real, like for years. Like, <laughs> I lived with my grandmother for about four or five years, hey, and then I bro. finally went and moved back with my mom. I'm like, I don't want to be here with you. Yes. I'm going to go back to granny house. Let's talk about the serious situation of this all. Let's talk about 
what it really boils down to. It really boils down to pacifying, making sure your kids is taken care of so you can do your do. Yeah. You got video games, you got TV, you got big mamas, and you got cousins, you got sisters and everything that you need to babysit your kids because you chose to have these kids, but you still want to live your life like it's gold. Well, he said he was going to pull out. <laughs> Baby daddy ain't doing it. We know we can't count on y'all to watch y'all own kids. And, it, and we shouldn't even have to say watch your kids. Baby daddy but know. we we know that y'all not about to watch them or take That's them. That's not true. I mean, it's a, it's it's a lot of men things. who have their kids a lot. I know I do. I mean, yeah, it is some good dads. Yeah. Definitely. Like, my husband is an amazing father. Now, yes, yes. my baby daddy sucks at life. Yeah, I hope they post that on there. Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell you, social media, man, is really, and I blame a lot on social media because it, it weighs heavy in our households. It does. Social media makes you want to go out. Social media makes you want to have all the glamour and the glitz, the hair, the nails, and live your life like you think it's supposed to go. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, when you have kids, you have a full repos- responsibility of taking care of them 24 7 and you should feel very honored if somebody want to watch your bald-headed rotten kids on any given weekend you understand especially if you got two three or four oh man and you can't get mad at nobody wanting to rot watch your rotten kid you ain't whooping them you ain't disciplining them but you just the only thing you're doing is saying you can't have this and you can't have that, and then you sending them to your loved one, and they saying you can't have this and you can't have that, and they saying they ready to they, <laughs> they ready to cuss yeah, you out like an adult. But let's like, <laughs> but like we do every show, let's let's go to the group and get some comments. Let's get it. Courtney Stevenson said, "Listen, this requires conversation, not a comment, because I have so much to say about this one." Aura Ann, um. How you trying to shame What's mama? Up, Laura? That's my girl. How you trying to shame mama into babysitting? Mama should, mm. mama's maybe should every once in a while, but she does not have to. And if she doesn't want to, you should never get this bent out of shape. Mama Be said, back. knock you out. Uh. LL Cool J. Petty. Elisa Stone, she said, well, maybe you should have thought about that before you had them children. And making them grandmothers at 35. Alisa, that's my girl. She's a comic. They outside. Not in the rocking chair. And y'all mad. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. (laughs) Definitely should have thought about it. But yeah, man, like, I mean, you can't get mad at your parents for not wanting to watch your kids. No, they did their job. They did. Not at all. They raised their kids, yo. But hold on, bro. Back to you. Um, If y'all let little Timmy come to my house and y'all don't whoop y'all kids... Little Timmy gonna get a whooping in my house because I don't play them games. If I say no, my guy is a no. <laughs> Little Timmy is gonna get whooped. So if you don't whoop him, don't bring him to me. And now they coming exactly. back from their little trip mad because you didn't whoop their kids because oh, yeah. they wouldn't. They kids, they yes, ma'am, yes, and yes. I've been through that. Yeah, no, sir. Yeah. I've been through that, yo. Well, that 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 wraps it up for this episode of Petty. Petty. We appreciate y'all tuning in. We, we appreciate y'all commenting, sharing, and liking. Make sure y'all tune in next week for the next week's show. We're going to have something fire for y'all, and we're going to be even pettier. Like and subscribe always, man. Follow us on social media. And don't forget, if you want to get everything, just Google hashtag Petty Podcast Show. And everything we're doing through the years will pop up right in front of your face. And remember, guys, stay petty. 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 Peace. I'm on a mission, they in they feelings, they only hear shots ringing out Taking their personal lead, that's what I'm talking about, Patty Cool, I'm a fan, feel like the man with this Patty shirt I got Swag crush out the box, just a compliment my top They hating, no worry, I got them, I know what it's like from the bottom That's why I came up, but this money, it just keep on